When I graduated from my undergrad, uh, I got a job out in Washington, D.C. Uh, doing sort of policy analysis, uh, working in economic development. And uh, in my role there, we, we did a lot of data-driven research and that sort of introduced me to the idea of working with data. I realized I liked it so much and I realized there's a world of possibilities with data and data basically in this day and age is everything. I always knew I wanted to pursue a master's or a graduate degree. I wanted to broaden my skill set and get that analytical mindset and background and also have some analytical tools under my belt. I came to Simon for the first time for the scholarship weekend and then again for the admitted students weekend. I chose Simon because of the close-knit community that I observed and also because of the investment that they put into all of their students. What really stood out to me about Simon was the focus on being analytical and, and the great reputation that Simon has. And I liked that it was a smaller school, smaller class size, more time to experience the class with your teacher and have more of a personal relationship. My favorite class would be Introduction to Business Analytics. Um, just because you get to learn a lot of tools in just one class. Um, so in that class, we learned SQL, Tableau, a little bit of R, so it's a combination of a lot of different things. I think my favorite course here at Simon was probably the communications course. Um, you know, I think so many people spend time on the technical skills and learning, um, you know, the nitty gritty of their subject, whether it's finance, accounting, or whatever. Um, and I think the communications class really gets you to step outside your comfort zone. It gets you to work in a group, work as a team, and, and practice your public speaking skills, which I think is often overlooked. Yeah, Simon provides a lot of um, opportunities for students to apply what they've learned in the classroom in real world situations. And Simon Vision Consulting Club is, is a great club and basically you have the opportunity to sort of work on a consulting project for a real company, a, a real life company in the Rochester area and sort of solve a business problem for them. Uh, so I was lucky enough to work on a project where we uh, worked on a market sizing and market opportunity plan uh, for a woman who owns a patent for a life-saving medical device. I think it equips you really well for when you graduate and go and apply your skills um, at your job. I love the Bennett Career Management Center. I went there almost every week to meet with my advisor and I think the Career Management Center is something you get what you put into it. I minored in psychology in my undergraduate and I've always been interested in sort of combining human behavior with a more a more a subject like mathematics or analytics in this case. So I discovered my interest in people analytics and I think the CMC definitely, you know, encourages me on that and supports me and the career management center definitely helps to guide us uh, with our specific interests and kind of what we can do or tailor our resume to positions that we're applying. Join every club that you have any interest in because they're all very helpful. There's no minimum requirement. There's really only benefits. I'm part of Simon Vision Consulting, the Master's Advisory Council, Simon Volunteers, the Dance Club. Also, I'm part of the Data Analytics Club. I think analytics is something that's ubiquitous across all industry now. So knowing basic analytics skills is really important and the Data Analytics Club is great because they host trainings. We've had some very interesting speakers. We had uh, someone who, who works in baseball analytics come talk and that was really fun. Um, so they'll you know, provide lunches for you and get to learn a little extra stuff while you're on campus. I didn't have a, a, an analytical background, a programming background. Simon does a good job of kind of accommodating everyone from different backgrounds and starting at the basics and kind of uh, escalating from there. It is okay if you don't have any programming skills coming into the program, but just looking into the coursework before you get here is a really good idea because once you get here, it goes fast.